Okay, I don't know. For some reason, I was trying to record this before, and it wasn't recording. So, hey guys. Um, this is my, I guess you could call it a review, the iPhone 10, Just to tell you guys what I like about it. So, this is the camera. I heard there were ways of... Um, getting it to edit you could edit the brightness and the color and stuff of your pictures before you actually took them but i don't remember how to do it so let's turn the camera around this is me i'm gonna take a quick photo and as you can see here the light of this photo it's kind of a more colorful photo i don't know if you could see that in the um the the video gosh i had a moment but it's one of the things i like about the iphone 10 don't worry about my hair it's messed up anyway let's delete this picture there's also another thing that i found that you could do uh, get out of there. So, if we go here and we take another picture. You, as you can tell, we can take more than one. So, these are pictures that I've taken before. When I first got the iPhone 10, I took these types of pictures. This one that is currently showing on the screen is a selfie of me smiling. Um, and it was taken with no light on in my room. So, you know, you got to kind of admit that's impressive. This one was taken with light and you can kind of tell how the, I guess settings adjust when you take a picture with no light versus light so those these are just a few of the pictures that i've taken i've only taken three selfies this picture i took on my six plus and as you can probably see it's kind of adjusted the settings of the brightness of the picture and everything just made it more colorful so that, you know, it looks better displayed on the iPhone 10. So therefore, if we get out of there, I can show you from here how to close these two apps. So what I just did, what I just did was I, if you could see this little white bar in the bottom middle edge of the screen um you slide up on it and just drag your finger there to go into the app switcher you gotta hold your finger as you drag for a few seconds and then it'll go into the app switcher now if you are a voiceover user what you're gonna do is You'll hear a little sound. Hang on, if I could do it. Let me turn it up. Oh, and what I've discovered is the volume button is also, you know, the camera button. Okay. So it's already up. Now, what I basically just did, if I, I'll go back into the app. I'm holding on the, on the bottom middle of the screen. And you got to hold it kind of quickly. So what you're going to hear is you're going to hear two tones. It'll give you one tone to let you know your finger is on the right spot to swipe up. And then you'll hear two tones once you've got the app once you're ready to 
if you're ready to close the app. And then you'll hear three tones. Then you can release and you'll be in the app switcher. Like so. Then you could just do the normal gestures to um, close the app. And then sometimes, you know, it wants to be picky. So you do have to, uh, you do have to be, um, a little precise with your gestures. So now for voiceover users to turn voiceover on and off, what you do is instead of a home button there's a side button so you triple tap the side button and voiceover is on now I'll triple tap the side button again and voiceover is off the side button is on the right you can use it for various other things like where touch ID used to be enabled when you're downloading new apps it'll ask you to either use touch ID or um, put in your password, or whatever, you can also double tap the side button. Sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. I've been having a little bit of trouble with that one. But I normally just use Face ID. And since you have Face ID installed, you can do Animojis. Now, I'm in my friend Devin's, um... Um, thing here. So, people keep messaging me on Messenger. I don't know why. So, you could click on the Animoji feature. Now, as you can tell, I am an Animoji character. And I am going to... Um, I won't send this to Devin because he's probably in school, but I'm just showing you a little bit of the features. As you can tell, you have to be precise with Face ID in order for it to work. And it's also set with pretty much all face gestures and stuff. You know, when you move your lips, the Animoji will move its lips. You could choose all kinds of things, from a bear head, to a unicorn head, to a dragon. And they even have a rabbit in there. I found it when I was first looking at the Animoji feature. Okay, so many notifications. Anyway, that's just um, a little bit of what I like about the iPhone 10. So, in, just to recap... To turn on voiceover, you triple tap the side button at the top right of the phone. Well, on the, the top right on the side of the phone, if you have the iPhone 10. To use Face ID, you have to go into your settings. And basically, all Face ID is, for those who don't know, is you just look at your phone and it unlocks just by reading your face. It's a great feature. I like it. I love it, as a matter of fact, and I've never thought I would love something so much from a feature on the iPhone. So, way to go, Apple. Um, Touch ID is no longer available, unfortunately, but you still have the passcode and you have new features like Face ID and double tapping the side button. If you want to use Apple Pay, you where you would normally double tap the home button either from the lock screen or just any way really and you now double tap the same side button that you can use to triple tap to turn on voiceover and of course with Siri there are two different ways that you can do it you can either say the phrase uh you guys know the phrase, I can't say it because I have it turned on. But H-E-Y space S-I-R-I. -I, that's the phrase you can use. 
or you can just hold the side button, the same one that you use for Apple Pay and VoiceOver. You can hold that side button in just like the home button and pull up Siri any other way. So, you also still have the feature type to Siri. You can adjust text and all of that. So, before we go, I will show you one more thing. You hold... Um, let me think of how to explain it. You drag your finger down on the top left of the screen and you get your notification center as you just saw and then just swipe back up when you're done looking at that. Then from the top right, you drag down just a little bit and you get your control center as you can see here. So that's what I like about the iPhone 10, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're willing. And I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm Britt. See you guys.